What's up, everybody? Jensen Cummings here. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. We're talking handmade puff. What the hell is a handmade puff? We're going to find out. Your menu story is going to be something that drives everything, that drives every direction, every every marketing element, every opportunity to engage and interact with Ray and everybody else that's a part of your community. And as you scale, that's going to be fundamentally important how you understand that. I want you to be able to write an article about every single dish. And then you take this big story and you scale it down and down and down to 140 characters or whatever you need it to be to fit wherever you need it to fit. The sentiment and the focus stays the same. What are people going to feel when they, when they, interact with that product. And, you know, the example that I use a lot, shout out to, to Tom Concanon at Old School Heroes, you know, very, very old school, been in the industry a long time, kind of tight lipped, you know, I have to like pull a lot to get like a story out of him. And he does, you know, hero sandwiches opening soon, hero sandwiches. And like, that's iconic. Yet a lot of people do that. And so I was like, there has to be something personal. And finally, he talked about this place uh, my hero in New York where he grew up when he was 13 years old he had the meatball hero sub and it like changed his life and now years and years later he is starting a business around that and I'm like the the hook because that's what you're looking for is a hook is the meatball sub every 13 year old kid will remember for the rest of their life right away you said a like wow I am I am on a journey that started with you and this business and your life when you were a 13 year old kid and four years later, you're here. That's the kind of compelling thing that I wanna find for what you're what you're doing. Um, the inspiration behind the, the truck itself and a lot of the recipes was from uh, the place that uh, my friends and I used to frequent back in our college days. It's kind of a cheap, quick, fast, fried dough nugs basically. And we also served that uh, pretty similar item to that today. Um, so some of those were the funnest experiences I can remember being a kind of a youngster, my first uh, little bit of experience of freedom there and uh, some bunch of camaraderie with my buddies and stuff. So um, we would eat those dough nuggets all the time. And, and like I said, they're uh, fast and cheap and quick. So that's kind of the foundation of what gave me the idea to, to make yep. uh, the pizza puff and like almost half of my menu there is from that place that we used to go to. So you are taking and transporting people back to their own memory. Mm -hmm. through your memories, childhood memories, with growing up ingredients, because you're trying to do things different. Handmade every time. Yeah. Right. Quality cheese. And that's what you want to like really focus on because you are creating the quality, the value and the memory. Those feel like the three things you need to be able to communicate at, at every single point. Mm -hmm.